falling in love with creation yeah. and with the world is such a powerful uh, theological theme. I think it's a, a very powerful Christian theme. And it's interesting to see all this conversation about how his dark materials, you know, is an atheist manifesto, mm -hmm. etc. Because before I, I knew anything of the of any sort of public conversation about the trilogy, what I saw in Dust was the divine. To me, that's, that's, that was just what was so obvious from the beginning and what was so exciting to me as a, I guess, as a scholar in graduate school, you know, studying these things as a young woman. And so I guess, what do you think of well, Dust? I was very, very pleased when I saw that you'd written that because that's what I think too. Uh, nobody else, as far as I know, has picked this up, so you may be the first. But I, I agree with that. Our relationship with what I call dust is a strange one. It's a, it's, it's a mutually dependent one. And this may be not the traditional um, uh, orthodox view of the relation between the human and the divine, but I do see it as being mutually nurturing and mutually necessary. We depend on dust because, and just to explain perhaps for those who, who haven't read the books, dust is... Um, a, a mysterious force of which the, the, the powerful people in the story seem to be afraid. At the end of the first book, uh, Lyra, the little child at the heart of the whole story, who has been told all her life that dust is bad, has seen the adults around her uh, doing frightful, terrible things in the name of getting rid of dust, as they think. And she undergoes a sort of little moral crisis at that point. And she says, well, if these people have been doing these wicked things and they say dust is bad, then, then maybe dust is good. And that sets her off on another way of thinking. And that's the conclusion the story comes to, that dust, which is really, a, it's a picture, it's a visual, um, physical analog of everything that is, everything that is consciousness, human thought, imagination, love, affection, kindness, good things, Everything that, and curiosity, intellectual curiosity, that all that stuff is, is pictured in my idea of dust. Our job, our duty, our most profound duty, it seems to me, is to increase um, the presence of dust in the world. So it's a, it's a mutual thing um, that you see dust as an aspect of the divine doesn't uh, surprise or worry me at all. Um, it makes complete sense to me. Uh, but my view of this is that we are both dependent on the other. We're each dependent on the other. Without us, dust will dwindle away. But without dust, we will dwindle away. <laughs>